I overheard someone say the moon landing was a hoax. <laughs> I got news for him. He even believes the moon is real. What's the difference between an unverified belief and delusional thinking? Without assessing the actual truth and authority of facts and values, is there any difference between a belief and a delusion? Hey, Ned Ned Nerb, the schizophrenic here. I moved in July. I haven't made a video since then. I've been adjusting to my new place. I've been busy working. I've been busy making music. Now that I'm back to feeling settled, I'm going to try to make more videos because I have comments nearly every day from viewers asking me questions, telling me they hope I'm doing well, commenting that they appreciate my videos, appreciate what I'm doing to share knowledge and relief with people, because that's what this is about. <laughs> that's what this channel is about. So thanks for tuning in. So I have a proposition. A belief which is unverified is not necessarily a delusion, but delusional thinking often involves beliefs which are unverified. Things like the moon. Everyone sees the moon, so everyone believes in the moon. It's kind of a verified belief because once a month when the clouds are gone and it's nighttime, you see a big ball in the sky. You hear from people, that's the moon. So 1950, 1960, what was it? Uh, I don't even remember. I wasn't there. So obviously the moon landing was a hoax. The moon landing is supposed by the conspiracy theorist or the delusional thinker that the landing was confused. It was on videotape, but it was unverified. And, well, there are other kinds of unverified beliefs, like what's going to happen tomorrow? I believe the day will rise and then the night will come. That's unverified. Probably not delusional thinking. Hmm. There's a branch of philosophy called epistemology, which is the theory of knowing or knowledge. Philosophers of epistemology consider the criteria for truth, the criteria for assessing observations. And particular views of epistemology are skepticism or relativism or universalism. Those are some varieties. There's solipsism. I've done a video on solipsism before, which is the theory that only the self exists, in, or alternatively, the epistemological solipsism that you can only know yourself, that you truly do not know others, other things that are external to you. An epistemological solipsist thinks they truly exist, but they're not sure if the world exists. Think of the matrix. Unverified belief or delusional thinking. Thanks for watching. Peace. Was he even there to begin with?